Hey, welcome to Exploring Peace and Freedom. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. I created this channel with two primary goals in mind. Number one, to create relaxing videos with sounds that promote inner peace and wellness. And number two, to create videos sharing my failures and successes to financial freedom by exploring YouTube side hustle trends and bringing you the hard and honest truth. Today, I'll be talking about the first trend I'm exploring, the ever so popular Amazon KDP, creating low content or mid content books and selling them on Amazon. I'm going to tell you about the five roadblocks that I encountered while creating and trying to sell books on Amazon KDP. I'm sure like me, you've seen the countless YouTube videos where everyone says, oh, just create a prayer journal or do a coloring book. Post it and you'll make hundreds, if not thousands. Well, after watching several of these videos, I decided, hey, why not? If they can do it, I can too, right? So a lot of the videos that I watched on YouTube talking about creating books using Amazon KDP and making money recommended making at least 10 books. So that's what I did. I went out, made 10 books, um, I have all the books listed in the description if you're interested in seeing the different types of books that I made. But I put just five here. These were my favorites that I created. Uh, the Captured Moments is just a journal. The sketch Pad was a journal. Grateful Moments was also a journal and it included some prompts for people to um, practice daily gratitude. The flower coloring book, this was one of the mid content books that I created. This one took a lot more time and effort uh, finding different coloring pages to put in. And this one was a intermediate level coloring book. And then the conference call bingo, that was a fun one to create. I expected that one to take off with sales just because I work in an office environment and I felt like this is something that I would use at work, but I'm not sure if people saw it or not. Um, we'll get into a little bit more about how this, how these books went for me um, here in the next couple of minutes. All right, so moment of truth. After three months and creating 10 books, publishing 10 books, sad to say, I sold a whopping two books. Definitely not the turnout that I was expecting a little disappointed because I did spend a lot of time and effort in creating my books. When I go out and compare them to other books that are selling, ranking high on Amazon, I feel that mine are comparable, especially for the independently published books. However, for whatever reason, my books just never took off. So I think next I'll talk about the five main roadblocks that I encountered when I'm trying to get these books published. And I think that had a big impact on my lack of success with this YouTube trend. So let's talk about the five main roadblocks that I encountered. And honestly, not many other YouTubers are out here talking about these five main roadblocks. If I would have known about these ahead of time, maybe I would have had a different strategy, but hopefully me sharing these with you will help you along the way if you decide that you still want to pursue this YouTube trend of making low content or mid content books for Amazon KDP. The first was limited templates. So several YouTubers recommend Book Vault, not just for the research and product information, but also for the interior page templates. My takeaway after using Book Vault is I need to either pay for the higher level, create my own interior pages, or find another program with better options because I found there was limited templates that were actually available on the um, basic package. Number two, market saturation. As I started to use Book Vault for research on top sellers, keywords, etc., I quickly realized I would have a lot of competitors. Yes, I can rather easily create a blank journal or a prayer journal or even a sketchbook, but there are thousands and literally thousands of other people that are already doing this. So my takeaway from this, find a niche and try that because low content books are not where it's at people. Number three, book rank and reviews. So I created my books, published them to Amazon KDP, but without sales, I have the lowest rankings and zero reviews. My takeaway from this, 
need to figure out a way to get placed higher in the rankings and I also needed some reviews before potential customers would even consider purchasing my books. Number four, low book visibility in the search. So you'll get a notification once your book is published. My first action after that email came was to go straight to Amazon, put my book name in the search and see if it comes up. Well, I did this each time that I published a book and it's, it was almost impossible to locate the book that I had just published. My takeaway on this, try better optimization with your titles and your descriptions. Another thing worth mentioning, add Amazon categories to increase visibility. So when you first publish your books on KDP, it's listed using KDP categories, which is different than the Amazon categories. So this could potentially have an impact on whether or not your book is visible by your target audience. Lastly, number five, printing issues. I ordered a copy of my first book using my personal Amazon account. So I didn't order an author copy or a proof, but I actually did it from the Amazon marketplace. I figured this would be a great way to test the product. Unfortunately, and this was a one-off, with my very first book that I published, a whole entire book printed in front of my book. So I ended up getting two books for the price of one. However, I was not trying to order the first book. And this was a huge shock for me because if I had been an actual customer, then I probably would have went and given myself a bad review, being that I got a book that I didn't order. So this was my first experience. And like I said, this is the only time that that happened. But just keep in mind, just because you go through the proof process and you authorize it, there is still a possibility that the publishing company prints your book incorrectly. All right, so that wraps up today's video. I hope this was helpful and shed some insight on this popular YouTube trending side hustle of creating and selling low content and mid content books on Amazon KDP. My opinion, there's so many videos out claiming you can make hundreds and thousands of dollars selling these books, but the honest truth, I didn't make any money. I mean, I sold two books, but in the grand scheme of things, when I consider my time, the amount that I paid for Book Bolt, I'm coming out at a loss here. So can you make money? Yeah, you probably can but this is definitely not a side hustle that I'd go out and recommend to my friends and family. If you have any other YouTube trends that you've been thinking about trying out and you want me to go try it out for you, mention those in the comments and I'll check it out. If you did like today's video, I'd appreciate if you'd like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification button so you don't miss my next one. Until next time, peace and blessings.